Hey, this is James from Darren.net. This is the continuation of my review on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, this video is going to focus on the motion gestures, input options, and security features. So let's go ahead and start out showing some of the uh, motion features here. So let's go to the settings and then motion. So here you got a whole bunch of different things you can do with the various motion sensors and what have you. So first we'll do direct call. And what it does is if you're in a text message or an email, something like that, when you're looking at a contact, for example, let's say Samsung Mobile, when you bring it up to your face, it starts calling the contact. And now we have Smart Alert here, which will vibrate the phone if it's face down and you miss a call or something like that. So let's say so you put the phone down, you leave the room, you miss a call, miss a text. When you come back, pick it up, it'll vibrate twice. And then we have go to the top. Now this doesn't actually work in a lot of different menus and such, but the idea behind this is if you're in a list in the phone, let's say you're in the contact list, you can double tap the top. And it goes all the way to the top of the list. Now it doesn't work in the web browser, it doesn't work in Gmail. So it's not very useful in my opinion, but there you have it. Uh, we got tilt to zoom, where you can zoom in and out of uh, the gallery, for example. So let's say you're in a picture, you can hold your two fingers and tilt to zoom. And you can do the same if you're using the internet browser. Another option is pan to move. So let's say you want to move around some icons on your desktop, shortcuts. So for example, say I wanted to move the clock and put it on a different page. You can do it like this. And we also have pan to browse images. So what you can do here is if you're zoomed into an image, you can use this motion gesture to kind of move around in a zoomed in image. So here we go. Hold your finger and you can move around like that. And one other thing here is shake to update. So let's say you're looking at a Bluetooth, a uh, list of Bluetooth devices. And right now it doesn't see anything, so I'll shake it. And now it's searching, scanning, and it'll find two of my uh, Bluetooth devices that are near me. Now there's one last basic feature, which is turn over to mute or pause. And it basically if there's music playing or a phone call comes in, you simply go like that and it'll mute it. So for example, let's go ahead and play some music. Take it, and it mutes it. Same thing if a call comes in or a text or any kind of audio. Now, similar to the turn over to mute, you can also do palm touch to mute or pause. So for example, let's say we've got music playing, and you have this enabled here. Take your palm and go like that, and it pauses it. And you have one more basic motion gesture here is the palm swipe to capture. So that's basically lets you do a screenshot by taking your palm and going like that, or you can go the other way or you can use your whole palm like that. And the same screenshot, and there you go. Now some not so obvious motion features. Uh, one would be if you go to your security options and go to lock screen options, uh, you can turn on the ability to have quick camera access. And what that means is if it's locked, you tap the screen, you rotate it, and it unlocks straight to the camera. Now it isn't much different than simply going from the lock screen and swiping up here but another kind of neat uh, motion feature. And with that, there's another motion unlock feature, which is the motion lock. And for example, here, it's just a tilt unlock option. So you take the phone on the lock screen, you tap, and you do that. So those are all the basic uh, motion kind of features. Now we'll go ahead and move into different input options. So by default, the phone comes installed with the Google Voice Typing and Samsung Keyboard. So let's go ahead and check out the Samsung Keyboard. One of the kind of not standard features on other phones is the keyboard swipe, which is similar, uh, if not very similar, to the swipe keyboard. So for example, let's go ahead and take your thumb and swipe around the keyboard. So this is a test of the swipe keyboard. So there you go. Now, the swipe feature does not work in all applications. For example, one of the big complaints is that it does not work uh, when you're internet browsing. So let's say you want to go into the text field here. Swipe doesn't work. If you want to, let's say, go in this text box here and enter data here, it doesn't work here either. So maybe in a future update it will, but for now it doesn't. So now we'll try the Google Voice typing. This is a test of the Google Voice typing. 
And as you can see, it can be accurate, but as soon as I start talking a little faster, at least in my voice, it seems to kind of miss out a bit. So I guess it depends on your voice and how articulate you are. But you get the idea. And one more input option, well at least I kind of consider it an input option, is that you can create your own uh, vibration. So like if you want a ringtone with a certain vibrate pattern, you can set that up. If you go down to sound and then de device vibration, you can create your own vibrate pattern. So for example, So I can save this. I'll call it uh, Pattern Custom. And now with that custom vibrate tone, I can assign it to a particular contact. So then you can kind of, if you have it in your pocket and it's vibrating, then you can know who's calling without even looking at the phone or hearing the phone for that matter. So I've shown you a few options for security, such as swipe and motion. So now let's go ahead and try face lock, face unlock. And here we'll set it up. So how's my face? And then from here, if you can't recognize your face, you want to go ahead and have it do a backup option. So we'll just go ahead and do something simple here. So now let's go ahead and try this here. Find my face and it unlocked. Now we'll go ahead and try face and voice. So my face first. So my face has been captured. Now we use S voice. Tap button below then say voice command you want to use for and lock four times all at once. Unlock. 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 All right, so we'll do a backup pattern again. So let's go ahead and try this now. Unlock. So there you go, that was a video showing the motion gestures, input options, and security features of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Be sure to check out the playlist for more videos in this review.